What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? Welcome to day 532 of making Songbringer. Today I'm working on some dialogue. Kind of stuck right now on this little bug, though, preventing me from writing finishing this dialogue. But uh, the dialogue I will be working on here is some dialogue about the black blood from all the enemies. It's a, some dialogue that occurs between Rock and Bell when you're climbing the tower and you defeat the first boss. So um, there's a little bug where um, I hit... Uh, kill the enemy um but the music doesn't fade out so i'm trying to get the music to fade out because it just doesn't feel right with the dialogue playing without the music faded out so did i get that all right cool without further ado oh wait i gotta run this from xcode to get the debug Okay, so I got some breakpoints set up. I'm trying to figure out why the music event gets faded out, but then it doesn't get, uh, it somehow it gets restored back to the old music file name. Okay, this might be happening a lot. A set new music file. Okay, so here's where it hits the break point. Ahoy, what's up, Salad? How you doing today? So I'm gonna step in here because this this is the bit that's important. It pushes back a new fade. It's got two of them now though. It's fading out event boss roar still while it's doing event boss. I'm doing it alright, yeah. Doing a little better. A little more healthy. Still not quite all the way healthy, but screw it, I got work to do. So, okay, that's one thing. It's fading out two sounds at once right now. But still, it should set... Wait, what's new music file? You see, it's still got a new music file. Oh. Maybe it just needs to... Stop any new music file it might be playing right here. Yeah, man. So how's your week going? This time I set the music file to empty before calling this fade function. And this time we don't, we shouldn't have a new music file, good. And then we clear the old one. So hopefully that works. Ah, oh, that was it. That's all I needed. So it's probably because there were two bosses there. Oh, these guys are still alive. This guy is right here, or whatever this is, still alive. Oh, what? 
what? Okay, well, at least that bug is fixed. Um, now, is there... What's this called? The story, new story event? Boss Tower Victory. Okay, there's no boss tower victory, so we need now we need to trigger the boss tower meet thing. I think I did. Oh, I know what it was. It was this. I added some little predicate. Impossible predicate. Now we got. Now it should work. What's up, Die Harders, Metrius? Thanks for auto hosting. You were trying to figure out multi-threading in Mac OS? Ah, okay. What API do you use for that? Dialogue that time. Oh, okay. It's language level, I see. Uh huh. Do you use like pthread or something like that? Like just regular old threading libraries? Right, so this boss tower victory two dialogue didn't work. I got these two story elements. Why didn't that work? Ah, okay. Oh, you know what? These guys might not be bosses. Oh, okay. Okay, let's check this in so far. Probably just a few little things left to do with this.
All right, this bit, source flux. Got to delete that. Okay, so I'm adding two different story elements for after you beat the bosses in the this tower. And it's the way music resumes a little differently. Right, semaphore. Oh, yeah, synchronized Objective C style. So it's like an Objective C style semaphore, right? So it's probably that this blob boss is not triggering on boss death. Probably because this small the blob boss small doesn't have the oh it does have boss one. <clears throat> Yeah, just little just story elements, little dialogue. Not like dialogue in general, but just like actual writing dialogue. Okay, so why doesn't this guy... You should... When you kill one of the blah boss smalls, it should do on foe death, or on boss death. Okay, so we don't have do boss explosion. Ah, because it counts up any any bosses already. They're still existing, so
All right, so this time we got do boss explosion true. And it should be triggering. Should be triggering that. Or oh, wait, oh, at least the boss. Where's the story status? There. Yeah, so it gets there. Oh, does it trigger it twice? What are these foes that are keep dying here? Oh, blob zeros. They just got. Whoa. Okay, so it triggered the fade. Here it's triggering. This cleanup. So yeah, it does that story says boss victory true. Ah, so after all that, for some reason, this is still not working. Yeah. I like it because it's it has the same F as friend, friend and foe, and it's short. It's like so many syllables less than enemy. You know, simpler. All right, let's find out if the if this works when. Um, when we go up in the tower. This is room 0196. Still doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, right? Fewer keystrokes. Less air. Okay, well, it's time for story verbosity. Why is the story not happening? Ah. Huh. 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. Killed those guys too fast, maybe. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? The world seeds there? There's like sexual, nipple, pickle. Some funny ones in there. Right, right? <laughs> what else we got in here? Python? Batman Zilton? Yeah, the funnier ones though. What's up, Arcane? going good man how about yourself how you doing <clears throat> okay I'm trying to figure out why this dialogue isn't triggering I'm pretty sure it's got this event it is boss victory pretty sure we have flags boss oh it's not Z9 oh duh this whole time I'm like, why isn't this working? But it was very simple all along. Alright. So where the hell am I? 96? Oh, can I do... I'm pretty sure I can do extra levels. Yeah, you passed all your exams? Oh, dude, congratulations! Only one semester left! Woo, congrats, dude! Yeah, and vacation. Man, that's awesome. I think it's something like 9 plus 5. I could do that. Oh yeah, there's Z-Sword. I'm pretty sure I added something where I can add... Interest? Yeah, there's interest plus zero. Pretty sure, can I do nine plus? Oh, uh, nice, man. Congratulations, it's so cool. Okay, let's see how it parses the boss tower victory. It's going to be World Masher. Match your parse. Here it is. Z is a negative number if it starts with a minus. It's a word if it's long. Yeah, yeah, this is gonna be it right here. Okay, match your parse. Alright, now if the key is uh, boss tower victory 2, inspect this. Nice.
Yeah, there's going to be some new stuff for sure. A lot of it. All right, there, we're parsing this. Now it's got the key for the Z, which is 9 plus 5. I think this might work. Splits it up into words. We've got a bunch of words. Yeah, Z for extra dungeon floor. Word zero out size is less than. Yeah, hopefully this is the get extra level for parsing. Words zero. What is words? Yeah, words. Nine plus five. What's happened with Songbringer in the past few weeks? Uh, well, oh yeah, the last update was um, called Meet the Jib, and Rock got a whole, all the artwork for Rock has been redone, so all of the pixel art for the main hero is a lot better. There's a new backstory cutscene where, where you meet Jib, Rock meets Jib. There's new overworld music. There's this like three minute like thematic one. It's supposed, it's supposed to be like catchy, like a theme song. And then there's a 12 minute sort of backup track that plays as well. Um, there's like new animations, new room algorithms. Um, lots of things, man, lots of things. Shadows at night. There's, a, there's more of it. And by the way, this, this change log is in the Songbringer folder. So if you're playing it on Steam or whatever, just look at your, your local folder for Songbringer. And this change log file is there if you're ever interested in what's different. And then the last version before that had so many new things. This is the one I got 80 things done in one week. Uh, Gold Chamber, the Glove Gate, the new animation when you have your shield up. Um, oh yeah, new enemies can, enemies can open up expo well, uh, secret walls sometimes. Procedural songs for the boss music, and the gate room, and the before boss room, and the boss roar, and the goal room. Um, oh yeah, there's player 2 can be auto-human, so there's a feature where you can set, set the input for player 2 to be automatic, which means that whenever, whenever you press a button or whatever on player 2's controls, it just automatically starts being a human and then when you stop for a while it turns back to being regular AI so yeah anyways there's a lot more there's a lot more stuff Jib can scan stuff from farther away so he doesn't he like he succeeds more often he's just not as slow yeah that should be it's really nice for um for if you're playing with a friend and they're not paying very much attention, you know, or you're like demoing, the, like for me, for demoing the game. Because a lot of times I'll, I'll demo the game and get some people to come up and like the player two just doesn't do anything or whatever. And then you could just set it to be auto human or or they leave the controls and so it turns it back on automatically, you know, it's pretty handy. Okay, so it's parsing in for word zero. And then add is going to be words two. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So add should be five, which is what we're adding. And then get extra level Z. So Z is nine. Extra is nine? That's too much. Oh, we wanted extra like one, which would have meant, meant that we needed to use one plus world max tunnels plus add which is minus one, which add is supposed to be one to be the first extra floor. Okay, so this does work. Oh wait, I still wanna see that breakpoint. So this needs to be Z nine plus one. And that should now trigger correctly. And now, and now I won't have to worry about um, calling it Z96. It's actually Z96, but that's so specific. I'm, this is a much smarter way to do it because it's kind of future-proof. 
Okay, so let's do it again. This time we should have an add of one. Yeah, and then we're parsing the extra level Z. Z should be nine, extra is five, which sounds right. So that should return 96. Yeah, good, okay, cool. Okay, now this time, let's make sure that is uh, what's changed is just pretty simple. Oh, yeah, world, we can change that. check out world. Yeah, so now it's just nine plus one. All right, let's try that again. So this time the blob bosses kill him, and it is to trigger some dialogue. Okay, let's make that dialogue a little better now. <clears throat> Sweet, good. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Did you see him without his hat on? He's got a mohawk now. Yeah, he's a lot tanner. So that's mainly to make him pop off the screen a little bit. With the skin the way, the way it was before, he sometimes blended into the background too much. So, whoa, what did I do? Oh, there. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah, sometimes he blended into the background. So the whole point of me redoing the art was to make him pop off the screen more. And so everything about the new art is all about that. You know, making the highlights just right and everything so that he looks way more distinct in the background. Okay, so let's refine this dialogue a bit. This is... <laughs> a beach ending? <laughs> Yes, they're on the beach with recliners. Lua music. Yeah! Oh, I'd love to see a jib with sunglasses. Yeah, my ties.
<laughs> Marco Polo? Yes, yes. All right, see how this little new dialogue reads? All oh, right, if I kill the orange one, I gotta kill the purple ones. When you're using cheat codes, you can kill the pur the orange ones before the purple ones come out. And the purple ones are the ones that trigger the actual boss dialogue and stuff. Okay, good. So this is like establishing some of the main plot and why, you know, what happened in the war before this one. Okay, let's check this in. Z9 plus 1 gets it to trigger and then we make, refine that dial a little bit. Okay, so back to the Trello list. What's next on the on the to do? All right, the dialogue to hint at both the ice and acid as soon as you obtain those things. So let's go to where we're gonna pick up the ice and the acid. So we need to not have those items. And let's take a guess. Where would these? Oh, one of them is going to be five.
Yeah, this is exactly what. So we want to go to the Verlox room. Okay, so now we just need to create a dialogue or a story element that happens as soon as you pick up this acid. Should hint at going back to Songbringer. And let's turn on Jib. And I think there is something already about this. I already created an element, but I just didn't. Ah, yeah, it is teleport one. So let's call this one teleport poison. Get rid of all these ones that we don't have. We don't need already. Let's get rid of that. You can say uh, it doesn't have to be Z zero. It's just Z. Oh, what Z is this? Actually, this is Z extra. Shoot. Hmm, ah, simplest thing to do is just not use a Z and go pattern, item, so as soon as you pick up the poison item, Let's see that.
Oh, this has to have jib. Let's make jib do this dialogue. This works. Just a subtle hint. I guess it's not too subtle. It's just a hint. A hint that you should go to Songbringer and use... Make something of this acid cube. Okay, let's also do another one. For ice. Okay, now I gotta go to where the ice is. Uh, where is the ice? <clears throat> Fear dungeon? Oh, here it is, Dungeon 6.
Right, all right, so it should be down here. Ooh, there we go. Cool, that's, that's good. Good enough. All right, another one done. Dialogue for the memorial, that's the next one. What's, what's up, game show, are you using a lot of CPU? You sure are, game show? It's a wonder I can even work right now. 160% of the CPU. Oh, I remember now, I was supposed to like inspect this Click the I. So there, I sampled game show. I think this is what I was supposed to do the next time. Yeah, the next time it uh, started using tons of CPU like this. I know I do, right? I need a separate streaming machine. I need a proper camera and everything. Really? That'd be cool. Let's 
So when things like this happen, and all of a sudden your streaming software is using 100, 170% of your CPU, you can still develop. You can still make games. That'd be great. Okay, I'm pretty sure I just did everything I possibly could to get all the information I can about Game Show. I guess I could take a screenshot of this, too. And is there anything else I can do, like a tool? I, could do, I did this samples process. What's spin dump? Yeah, yeah, they promised they would. So I, I told them about this happening, and they're like, oh, the next time it happens, do all this stuff. And I forgot all about that the last time it happened, which is, it's only happened like every two months or so, every month or two months or something like that. I get it, this still happen. So I guess I should try whatever else I can while it's happening. All right, I don't know what this is, but I'm gonna save it anyways. Spin dump. System diagnostics. Okay, I'm going to restart the stream here. Well, wait. I got to keep streaming for this part. Well, maybe I'll go into game show. Can I just turn off game show's display for a minute? I hate game show. God. It's like, what? Shouldn't this turn on and off that? Man. Let's start writing some dialogue while this is doing whatever it's doing. <laughs> Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. <clears throat> uh, blah, 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 blah. All right, let's write some dialogue for story memorial one. <clears throat> oh man, I gotta get a cough drop or something. Right back.
Wow, that took a minute. All right, I think this is done though. This is like a 300, 300 meg file though. Okay, let's um let's see what else. Um let's do a spotlight diagnostics. Oh, I already copied that. Okay. 
All right, that's all said and done. Okay, so Game Show is still going to be eating up a lot of CPU, but at least I've got some records of what's going on. You need to see that. Not really, I don't think. Energy. I think I was just supposed to inspect the process right here. Okay, let's close that. I'm just gonna leave game show open and do some more dialogue. Do one more piece of dialogue before I go today. The memorial. So when you get to the war memorial thing, it'll do this. This dialogue. Okay. <clears throat> so if it's Z0, we have the pattern for the memorial? What, the, what pattern is that? Oh, it is, it's Pattern Memorial 1. All right, now I need to find where one of these memorials is. Fifteen two. Well, let's make it so they're clo they have to be close to it, and we'll start them off to just to the right. <coughs> Give it the name Memorial One. so that we can apply a predicate near memori Memorial 1. Oh, near Memorial 1, 40? And we probably want to add an idle timer to that too. So 
so that you if you you has to wait till you stop you can't be moving Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, there we go. Cool. A little bit of history of this world. <laughs> Even though there's no information really about the history. Hints at a history, I guess. Okay, so the memorial tile now has a name. There's an action. It triggers some dialogue as soon as you've been there. Let's make sure that it all happens like as a sequence, so it saves it. You can go off the screen, come back. It doesn't do it again. Let's try coming at it from the top, too. Let's say we're coming in here hot. Whoa, wait, hold on. Actually, there shouldn't be enemies on this screen. It's kind of distracting. Let's take off the enemies. Very much like rock face. Memorial one, Z zero, pattern memorial one. This has some dialogue. Let's not have enemies. So you can read it from behind, that's kind of funny. Actually, there should be... This thing should have... Um... Pattern Memorial, where the hell is that? Pattern Memorial, there it is. Okay, so behind the memorial, we'll do a rectangle. Oh, wait, it already does. Static, invincible, what's that? Oh, besides, this only goes up two tiles. I think that four tiles. Alright, that's pretty good, except I, I, it's a little too much. Let's make that just three. It's not invincible. Oh, that means you can hit it. That's right. If I can pull out my sword and hit that. I'm so desired. That's great. Now you can't be on the back of it and accidentally say, can you read this?
if I go off the screen, come back. All right, good. Another one done. Another bug. Back to that's not a bug. It's a feature. Dialogue from Moral. Yeah, done. Archive. Good. Now I only got 79 left to do. We got to get some more dialogue. Only one more piece of dialogue to do today, and then some more little things. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna check this in, and that's gonna be it for today's stream. All right, well, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Appreciate you. Have a great day. Have a great night, and we'll see you all next time.